Okay, so welcome back for episode three of Load of Balls. That's golf balls tested by the average golfer. We've got absolutely loads to pump in the weeks ahead. Um, thanks for your great comments on the first two videos. Never the most exciting videos to edit and produce in terms of gol golf ball testing, but we're doing as best as we can. But really interested in this one on a number of levels. It's, I'm gonna do the very first of, from a range of golf balls from a company called Vice. Now, perfectly honest with you, prior to the testing, I knew very little about Vice golf balls at all. But in the past few months, I've got familiar with the products and I've got to say an overall impression is one of being very, very impressed. I think it really starts from as soon as you see the product in terms of its boxing, its visual appearance, it comes across as very much a quality made product. So you're off to a good start. But there's an interesting story with this one. Not just the fact that it's new in terms of the general market, it's not been around for a long, long time. The way in which you purchase the product is purchased online. As far as I'm aware, it's not available through retail at the moment. And the way you purchase the product is based on quantity or the price you obtain is based on quantity. So these are all new ideas in terms of how we currently uh, purchase golf balls. And I wanna have a look at that very, very shortly when we come to the pricing structure and value in terms of our marketable. But first of all, throw up a few images of the golf ball itself and we'll talk a little bit of blurb in least what Vice claim this golf ball does. This golf ball, by the way, is the Vice Pro model. Uh, so first of all, this model itself is supposedly aimed at advanced players of medium to high club head speed. It's a three-piece cast urethane ball interesting 318 large dimple design so what they're claiming is they've reduced the number of dimples on this golf ball but increased the size of the dimples on the golf ball so this again a slightly different tact from what other manufacturers are doing here um, reduces air resistance to a minimum is what they're suggesting and if i can uh, just carry on reading that results in a more stable trajectory of a golf ball with even higher ball speed so that's an interesting one there um, Characteristic, optimized for tremendous distance, excellent green grabbing control, great feel and spin and all the other claims you would associate with anybody who's marketing a golf ball. So that's enough of that. Right, so how did it get on? Same testing as ever, slightly different greens are used here or different holes, same golf course, back out there at uh, Sota Grande. Um, first thing we looked at is let's have a look at the balls that came in from one this this one was a slight slightly shorter i was in around the 100 mark and it was slightly downwind and again if we can notice that green slopes from right to left because all those things are going to impact on the way this ball ultimately where it ends and the result of the uh, the the strike here we go okay so you'll see that both balls came in um like i said downwind harder to get the grab on the ball or the spin on the ball it's automatic the wind is pushing that ball forward and, uh, and removing any or reducing any backspin that you might have but you see they've grabbed well they've spun off to that again right to left slight slope on the green um, but again very very consistent in terms of where they've ended up where they've finished and where they've come to to rest so again i would say that in the performance that i've seen on those kind of shots again stability and similar results consistency is what i've seen from those so now we moved again slightly different green from what you've seen in the first couple of videos but this again similar sort of distance shot around sort of a 40 yard chip shot slightly a lower trajectory and let's see how the ball reacts so once again you, you just see that both balls react and this is what you're looking from from a golf ball it's consistency so both balls pretty much did exactly the same from my eye and again this is something that i'm going to mention quite a lot this word consistency throughout this test but we won't we'll, we'll just get on to putting and putting again all about feel i'd say that if i was 
if I was liking this ball in terms of sound, something that would be people would be familiar with, I think it's got a very sort of similar sound and feel to a Pro V1. And again, I don't feel find a Pro V1 to be, I wouldn't describe a Pro V1 as being soft, and I wouldn't describe this as being soft. But it's certainly got there's a lot there's a lot of feedback from ball to hands. Yes. Oh, where well, Siri popped up from there, interrupted my review. Uh, there's a lot of feedback from, from, that comes from the ball to the hand, and that's what I like about this ball. Like I said, you know how that, you, you get an instant feedback, and you know how that ball's going to react before it lands on the green. Right, next bit, so that's a short chip, putting 100 out. Let's get some dry ball data. Next number's up on screen. So we're going to start first set of numbers here are with 7 iron. Club head speed remain consistent. Ball speeds, I think, quite high. Um, carry distance remain quite consistent. And again, launch angle. All the numbers that would be more than happy with. I think that in terms of spin rate, again, this performed. Again, don't forget, I've tested 20 balls here. My spin on 7-iron, uh, what have we got? 5-4 average, and we've got one taking it right down at 5,000 there, but we couple in at, or one in at 5-8. It's a good spin number on a five iron, or a very good number on five iron, uh, seven iron for me personally. So again, I would suggest that's doing all the right things. Next number up is on um, is on to pitching wedge. Once again, pitching wedge, everything stable in terms of club head speed, ball speeds, slightly up again. I think this is a slightly um, on what I've tested on the two videos so far. It's got spin and it's not losing distance either. So it's a slightly, I would class this ball as being it's slightly, it, it's performing slightly longer in terms of creating good ball speeds. Um, and again, out on the course and just talking about how this club performed over three or four, uh, this ball performed over three or four holes, it sort of suggested that it's a slightly longer, faster ball. I don't know whether that's the, um, right terminology but i hope you understand where i'm coming from so i'm going to get to the end result really how did i rate this product and here comes the scores up on the screen now um, and we're going to start off with the dry ball data and and looking at those numbers i can't be critical and if i can't be critical i'm gonna to have to score this the first 10 of the videos that i've done so far because like i said I just can't in the dry ball data numbers and that's all very much like I said in a in a, in a, a perfect environment then that's how it's performed there the numbers it's produced no criticisms whatsoever it's a straight 10 then I got on to feel and I mentioned about the feel earlier about the kind of slightly firmer feel to it so I uh, like I said I really liked it and I liked the fact that I knew or at least I felt like I knew what the golf ball was going to do I knew it was going to react I could get a real sense of um, feel from ball club head into my hands head ears however you want to describe it so I really felt like feel was good for me just that the perfect I'm gonna give it a nine the perfect ten was if you just had a little bit of softer feel in and around the greens for me personally but again that's a very personal issue performance wise it was very very good but i would just dock it that one point based on just a little bit of softer feel right i'm looking down now there's the interesting one needs a bit of discussion value for money key in all this testing i think and none more so than in a ball like this this is performing very very well indeed the pricing structure is a real interesting one i've looked at purchasing it in the uk and ireland purchasing it in the us they're the price comparisons I've done. Very quickly, a dozen of these golf balls is 30 British pounds, 24, um, no, pretty much exactly the same in terms of uh, dollars, but I've got the price comparison on five dozen because how this works is you buy one dozen, you get a price of 30 pound. You buy three dozen, it, goes, it drops down to 25 pound. But the best price you can buy the ball is if you buy four, five dozen golf balls. It brings the ball down to $21.50. In the US, it's $24.95. You then have to add in a shipping cost, and the shipping cost in the UK is $4.99 flat rate, and in the US, it's $6.95. Now, I can't do every country. What I did notice, and again, someone verify this for me, the prices, these are a German, 
what I was found a little bit strange is the prices in Europe seem to be a little bit more expensive. If I looked at the price as in Euro versus Pound, it seemed to be more expensive to me. So I don't get that one. But like I said, I cannot speak for every country as to how I couldn't possibly do. They ship worldwide. So have a look for yourselves. But I'm going to use those two price points as the reference point for value. Now for me at 30 quid a dozen that's getting up there at the top end so if I was going to mark it on value I'd probably mark it an 8 out of 10 but what I'm going to do is this at 5 dozen at £21.50 it's 10 out of 10 all day long £21.50 for this ball $24.95 for this ball is fantastic value but not everybody wants to buy five dozen golf balls. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go happy medium here. Three dozen golf balls, 25 quid plus the shipping. That's what I'm gonna mark it on. And I'm gonna mark it a nine out of 10 based on 25 pound a dozen. This is without doubt very good value at 25 pound per dozen, but you've gotta buy three dozen. Then overall performance taken out on the golf course. Um, like I said, stability consistency all those words i would continue to use i think like i said it seemed a very fast golf ball it seemed to be getting yardages on all clubs that i used and again i would think that although i didn't do testing on driver i would think it's a very good performing golf ball off driver as well and for that reason i'm going to mark it a nine out of ten once again the only thing for me would have been just that little bit of and i suppose it I talked about it in feel, but I'm going to talk about it in performance as well. I managed just like that, just that little extra stopping power in and around some of the iron shots that I hit in. But again, that could be very much down to, obviously, I'm more likely to be down to my strike. But I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 for performance. So as ever, divide those, uh, add those four together, divide by four, and you've already worked that one out. So what a fantastic score for the Vice Pro golf ball. It had been very easy, to be honest with you, to give it a 10 out of 10 and being a bit mean, maybe, because it's a very, very good performing golf ball. It's certainly the leader of the pack so far, but we're only three balls in. Uh, and it'd be interesting to see how this one carries on. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to sort of um, throw another curve ball in terms of not a massively popular golf ball in terms of uh, where it stands in the, in the world right now. But I'm going to do one of the 40 golf balls from Australia. That's the next golf ball in the review, so keep an eye out for that one. This should be, while well, I'm releasing this on Tuesday night, the next golf ball of Forte video will be coming out Thursday evening, and then we've got a couple more for you next week. I hope you're enjoying them. Like I said, there's gonna be a bit of monotony, I'm afraid, that are a bit uh, difficult to do. Too many exciting things with, but I'm just trying to give you the, I've gathered a lot of data, a lot of information, trying to feed it back as best I can. Anyway, thumbs up if you like the video. Uh, comments down below as ever and uh, thanks for watching. See you soon.